lovelies. Today I'm totally Ashley87. I'm going to be doing um, my April thrifty finds. And that's pretty much just like a haul of things that I picked up throughout the month from the thrift store. If you guys recall, when I first started this channel, I did a December thrifty finds. And I said I was going to do it. It was going to be like a um, thing that I did every month showing you guys each, you know, what I found each month at the thrift store. And the only reason why I didn't stick to it is just because these last four months these last like three months I have not been doing any thrifting just because I haven't had the time and thrifting can be so time and time consuming like I'm never I can never go in there and then run back out I'm like in there for at least an hour just going through the racks and looking at things and sometimes you, I can be in there for two hours you know because you really have to look through everything because you know it's just time consuming anyways so this month I did get I went this weekend and I picked up five things from the thrift store. So I'm going to show those things to you even though it's not like a big haul. And I'm also going to show you something that I made this weekend because I was feeling crafty. So let's get started. Okay. So the first thing I bought was just a basic pair of jeans. They are up there by guests. I paid $8.99 for these. I didn't want to at first just because it's a thrift store. And I hate paying that much for something from the thrift store. But I have noticed that my thrift store, like Levi's and guest jeans, are always nine dollars so I paid nine dollars for these but they fit really good the quality is really nice there's no holes in them and like there's a little fraying at the end but I'm gonna like fray the whole thing but that's just how they look they fit me good and I have like a huge problem finding finding like the like jeans to really fit me really good and that's the right lift and just fits my body without looking eh, not fitting right okay so second thing I picked up was this shirt which was half off, so I got it for $150. This is big um, coral color shirt that says Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive. And what I'm going to do with this, because it is too big, I don't even know what size it is. It is a size... Mm, one size fits all, which is totally too big. Oh my gosh, I just got dark on screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is like cut this part off so I can wear it you know, so I can wear it like more off the shoulders and I'm going to like cut the sleeves like this and then I'm going to cut a little at the bottom. So it's going to be more like that relaxed fit, I guess. That's what, what you would call it. I don't know. It's just something I would wear with leggings or yoga pants or, you know, jeans or something on the weekend or like a day of running errands because I do love the shirt. I thought it was kind of cute and kind of preppy-ish kind of and it just reminded me of something you see at Forever 21. Next, I picked up this skirt, which is really cute. This is black skirt and it's in the same material that they make track pants out of. And this is a black skirt. It's really wrinkled because I did wash it yesterday. And it has a nice thick waistband, elastic waistband, a zipper in the back. And what really sold me on this is not only the fit of it and the way it looks, is it's by Banana Republic. Yes. So this one was $5.99 plus 25% off of that. And I love this. And this is it's just great and it fits so good and I like that the material is like a tracksuit sort of material because I can wear it with so many things like I can wear it with dressier tops or and then I can make it casual and just totally wear like a t-shirt like a fitted t-shirt with it and it would look really cute so got that um the last two things I got from there are blazers I mean if you guys don't know which you probably don't I love blazers but I try to find them at the thrift stores because they're a lot cheaper than getting them from stores in the mall because sometimes you see really cute ones and they'll be like $35. So the one I got in black is a steel. I got this black blazer and it's by BB. And I only paid $6.99 for this which was freaking great because the BB blazer is such good quality. Let me try it on for you. That's how it looks. So, as you can see, it's a really good fit. It has one button here. Um, ah, okay, so it has pockets. And it just fits really great. Only problem I have is the sleeve is a little too short. So I'm going to cut the sleeves like this. And I also, like, totally, totally hate the freaking buttons that they put on it because I think they kind of make it look cheap, you know? And they put this stupid, basic black button on it right right there that's how it looks so i bought these really cute but buttons from i think joanne's fabric and that's how they look it's just this um military buttons and i think i paid 250 for them 
I paid $2.50 for them, so I'm gonna like swap out the buttons on that blazer. Um, next, I got what you guys are, some of you will like, some of you will totally freaking hate this blazer. But I thought it was really funky for the, you know, the style. So I got this vintage um, blazer. It has this really pretty flower print on it, and it has the pelham look at the bottom. The sleeves are kind of puffy. Now I've had this on for you. What I'm going to do with this is cut the sleeves off and make them into shorter sleeves. So I'm going to take the sleeves up, if that's what you call it. And I'm not quite sure if I'm going to swap the buttons out and find a different button. But I totally like, like the pelham look, if that's how you pronounce it. I like that look. Like I don't like the sleeves, but everything else fits great. As you guys can see, the back fluffs out and that's the front. And it fits me good. It's a size 4, but it runs. It fits me good. I normally wear a 2. So I don't like these stupid, stupid, stupid sleeves. So what I'm going to do is cut it right here and then just hem it right there. So I'm going to make it to like a short sleeve blazer, which I think is going to be really cute with like a fitted black skirt or a long, or a long black skirt. Or something like what I'm about to show you that I made. Maybe make those in black. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna take it off. Okay, so over the weekend, I decided I I've been wanting some gacho pants, some pants that fit really tight, that are high waisted, and they're really really flowy at the bottom like a skirt, which are you know gacho pants. I didn't want to pay a lot for them because I seen some in a boutique and they were like forty nine dollars, which I didn't want to pay that much. So I have a sewing machine. Don't know how to sew. My fiance knows how to sew and so I asked him like you know if I get a pattern and some material would you show me guide me into making them but she ended up doing like a lot of the work but I'm going to do another pair which I'm going to do totally by myself but I need these brown pants so they're like this has a thick waistband and they're just really, 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 really long. And as you guys see, is when they go down, they get like really wide. And I hate the way the, the camera is facing. Like I can't try these on and show them to you for you to see like the whole look. And that's just so cute on. If I have time, I'll like try to do a video with me wearing them and kind of like put it in. So yeah, they're really, really big at the bottom and they're like stupid me so great. Like they Oh my gosh, if you like get clothes tailored or made for you, they fit so much better than store-bought clothes. Like, oh, I love the way these fit. I bought some other patterns too, so I'm going to make these in like black and gray and some different colors, maybe some funky prints for myself, because I love the way they fit, and I have like the hugest problem finding stuff that fit me. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye!